only the quantization of time with the future unfolding photon by photon can we explain the true nature of the universe in this theory the universe is a continuum with the future continuously unfolding with each photon electron coupling or dipole moment each photon electron interaction only occurs once but the process of energy exchange forms the ever changing world of our everyday life that we measure as a period of time in such a theory the future is unfolding relative to the atoms of the periodic table with the wave particle duality of light and matter in the form of electrons forming a blank canvas that we can interact with forming the possible into the actual for this to be possible time and space or space-time has to be an emergent property in physics space-time is any mathematical model that combines dimensions of space and time in a single continuum this geometrical process can be represented by just one equation with the Lorentz contraction of space and time being placed between the energy and mass of Einstein's famous equation this represents a universal process of continuous energy exchange or continuous creation with the future unfolding photon by photon relative to the energy of each object or life form this might sound far-fetched but it is only extending Einstein's relativity to everyday objects and individuals in the theory of general relativity we have an interactive process when an object moves space-time moves relative to the energy and momentum of the object energy slows the rate that time flows creating a future relative to the energy and momentum of each object therefore forming the curvature of space-time in this theory this is a universal process everything from the smallest creature to the largest planet forms its own future space-time by slowing up the rate the time flows objects just free fall towards the greatest energy because it has the greatest time dilation or the slowest rate that time flows therefore gravity is a secondary force to the electromagnetic force because time is being formed photon by photon I believe this can be seen in the mathematics with both rotational force and the electromagnetic force having the inverse square law we have the inverse square law because the surface area of the light sphere increases with the square of the radius thus the strength of the gravitational field is inversely proportional to the square of the distance from the source there is no mysterious action at a distance the gravitational field will work at the speed of light because it is an integral part of one universal process with the electromagnetic force where some theories see disunity disharmony and chaos this theory sees oneness unity and harmonics that can only be formed by one universal process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking this organization is formed by the quantum wave particle function or probability function having spherical symmetry nothing has greater organization or lower entropy than a sphere light photon energy from the sun cascades down forming greater degrees of freedom for increasing entropy or disorganization that we have in the second law of thermodynamics this process of symmetry forming and breaking also forms the possibility for the formation of more complex and diverse forms of symmetry that we see as the imperfect symmetry of cell life intelligent life forms can even set up their own symmetry as in billiards snooker or even chess and then break the symmetry seeing the uncertainty of the game unfold as the future comes into existence photon by photon each player has their own timeline 
and Bussy and Field Time as only having two dimensions, with a future and a past. But in reality, each player is creating their own three-dimensional space-time by interacting with the wave-particle duality of light from the centre of their own reference frame. When the spherical symmetry is broken, it forms the imperfect spiral symmetry of life that is visible in nature. This is because if the quantum wave-particle function or probability function is reformulated as a linear vector, then all the information I can find says that each new vector is formed by adding the two previous vectors together. This forms the Fibonacci sequence. In this theory, we have the Fibonacci numbers in nature, not because of economy of growth or space, but because time and space is being formed by the geometry and therefore the mathematics of this dynamic process. As can be seen on the diagram, we already have zero, representing the moment of now, time equals zero, with positive one and minus one, representing the positive and negative of electromagnetic waves. Therefore, we even have the start of the Fibonacci sequence in the diagram. This is linked to Euler's identity, giving this beautiful equation a place in the structure of space and time. This theory explains a greater reality of one creative principle behind the laws of physics, forming something like a sounding board of a musical instrument that resonates with the vibrations of one's own thoughts, efforts and actions. In this theory, mass is a byproduct of time dilation. When time slows down, it takes more effort to move an object from A to B, and this is seen as an increase in mass. Also, Einstein's equivalence principle between gravity and acceleration falls out of this theory. Because energy and momentum have to increase for an object to accelerate, time dilation will increase relative to the acceleration. Therefore, we have the equivalence principle between gravity and acceleration. This will be felt as inertia in the direction of the acceleration. Therefore, we have Isaac Newton's first law of motion. Unless acted upon by a net, unbalanced force, an object will maintain a constant velocity. This theory takes the dynamic interactive process of the general theory of relativity and extends it to our everyday life, explaining a universe that is continuously coming into existence relative to the energy and momentum of our own actions. Every individual is a part of this interactive process that forms the uncertainty and probability that is needed for the great game of life. But above all, this theory gives us an objective understanding of time as a process of continuous creation. Even a rose blooming will create its own arrow of time within its own reference frame. This fits in with the reality of our everyday life with a past and potential future that we can interact with from the centre of our own reference frame, turning the possible into the actual. This can be in the form of art and poetry. Therefore, even a dancer on the dance floor will interact with this process, forming their own future space-time relative to their energy and momentum of their own actions. For in this theory, Creation is truly in the hand and eye of the beholder, with an objective reality in the form of a dynamic interactive process that forms an infinity of possibilities. I have tried to make this theory as simple as possible in the belief that everyone should be able to understand it. In my other videos I explain this theory in much greater detail. As an artist I am outside the scientific community, so any help you can give in promoting this theory will be gratefully welcomed. Thanks for watching. Please share and subscribe. It will help the promotion of this theory.